Daddy and Jay here. You know what? I'm starting to realize YouTube. I really don't like your, your platform anymore. You're always interrupting us. Normally we get like a half an hour to 45 minutes of taping. Now I'm getting only 15 worth taping. To be honest with you, YouTube, I think this is going to be my last video on YouTube. We might be going into a different platform because you're not giving me enough time. I'm sitting here doing a challenge and you cut me off and make a 13 minute video and normally you give me 30, 40 min minutes. Get yeah, tired of this YouTube, man. Tell you the truth, Daddy and Jay keep it real. Then we go back to our own platform where they treated us better. I'm sitting here eating dinner, enjoying myself, making a video recording, and it shuts off on me. me off. Put the charger All right, on. Can you move now? Let me fix yeah. it because I don't know what you're doing. It's recording, you know. Oh, my bad. And you're messing with the camera. Anything else wants to mess with me with this recording shit? Sit down, baby. You don't have to watch me. There you go. Wow. The challenge is don't try to get too aggravated so you don't finish the meal. That's the real challenge, right? Yes. Yeah. Oh my god, YouTube, you really pissing me off. What happened? What's wrong? What's wrong with the camera? Nothing. Right here. I'm gonna sit here trying to have a professional uh, TV show here, finish my dinner, and I keep getting interrupted by YouTube. I don't know. I don't think I'm gonna stay on this platform. I don't, I don't feel like it's treating me with respect. Sweating death. Sitting here having a good time having dinner, and then the video cuts off. Honestly, I don't like YouTube platform because of the video thing. It's two shorter videos, and they pick and choose when they want to cut you off. And it's not right. And somebody will go, oh, but they edit it. I don't know how to edit. Every time I try to edit, I kind of mess it up. We're still learning. We're still learning everything, right. But I think I'm going to get on a platform like Twitter, go back to Twitter. I can do two hours of film and they don't cut me off. And they don't do the doc. I mean, there's certain things you can't do that. But I had a better time over there, and I don't know. I'm thinking about going back. No apologies, yeah, this is me. You know, I'm in the middle of doing a challenge. 13 minutes into the challenge about eating my dinner, and the video gets cut off for no reason. I'm not happy with you, YouTube.
Look at this. Two other and two together. Good luck. Yeah. Why is it like everything's against me right now, guys? Everything. There you go. Hey. Okay, we can see you better. I didn't even know I wasn't in the shop. <laughs> you were in the shop, but not very, you're not fully. Oh, okay. All right. Well, that turned my stomach. I had to do two videos now. But I'm still going for you guys. I'm still eating the food. Onion rings. I am so sorry. I'll save a strong bonus for you. That's you, man. I didn't want the onion rings. I wanted the, the juice. <laughs> I'm busting your chops. I'm full. No. Ooh, I just ate a meal that's for four people. I'm not even halfway through my meal. <laughs> I'm sweating, bro. But that's the perks of having a microwave. <laughs> yeah, but I'm gonna eat this whole meal. That's the, that's the whole video was supposed to be about eating the whole meal. One video was supposed to be. Now I'm gonna do part one and part two, and hopefully everybody sees part two. Well, part one is already up. For anybody that's just joined into our channel and looking at this video, you might want to go put part one. I'm gonna figure out how to put part one in the description. But one is already up, so you know, it's just self-explained. It says part one of two, so. Yeah. Could have been just one video, right, YouTube? <laughs> well, we also have the issue with the battery dying. Yeah, so give them the reason why it's out for. Give YouTube the reason no. why it's out for. So when they call us up, text us and be like, oh, like your wife said, the battery is dying. No. A combination of the both. I'm not saying it's one over the other. So don't take that out of context. You want to get the gloves? Round one. <coughs> <Ding>. <coughs> <coughs> I just choked on a freaking piece of ham. We about to box up in here. <laughs> no. I think you want an injustice. <laughs> We've yet to play that game together. Guys, I hit a wall. I know Trent's saying about that wall. <laughs> I wanted to go to sleep just now when I just paused. Yo, my diaphragm is saying one more bite and I'm gonna cry. Come on, you No. Uh, uh. I'm full. I don't know if I need that old dog dunk, guys. I gotta be honest with you. Oh my god. Show you. Remember the meal in the other video? Oh my god. I'm so full. I'm a little short for finishing, but I finished it, guys. Come on. Woo. Oh my god. I'm gonna hurt myself. Not really a challenge. I was just showing you guys how big my meal is. 
Could have been a challenge if there was one video, right? I will fight for you. Leave that on. Leave that on. It's a good song. I saw the movie and it made me cry. I don't care about no damn movies. What? What movie is it? I care about your movies. Oh my god. So I was watching stuff. Sorry, guys. The movie's called Five Feet Apart. I gotta, I gotta watch it with you so you can see what I'm talking about. I like this song. Me and Daddy had a lot of struggles. And this is what it reminds me of. I was struggling. The first, we've been together seven years. The first uh, two years were beautiful. And then we got attacked by some vicious people. And um, we made it through it. My right, baby? Yeah. I never gave up. I fought for her. I ran out of the house, kicked somebody's ass for her too. But the point is, when somebody's home, enjoying their time with their loved ones, and people literally interrupt it, well, the husband is the guy that takes out the garbage, right? So I did, my wife, my family, I took out the garbage. Oh, guarantee anybody looking for good food in Pasco County go to Famous Sal's. They got two stores, one in Congress and they got one on um, in Hudson. I think they got one in Tampa too. No, the only one they have is uh, Hudson and Newport right now. You heard the lady. That's what I saw on the website. <laughs> she just likes to make me look more. No, I don't. You're the lady. The woman under the house has to always be right, right guys? Technically, no. Don't think so. No. No. Donnie and Jay keeping it real. Relationship, relationship status. I'm just a little, you know what it is? I'm a little cranky because I was trying to make a video YouTube. This video was supposed to be with the other video and they cut me off. In the middle of all the videos, so I'm a little cranky now. Right, honey? Yeah. Give me a, like a knot in my stomach. I like YouTube. I like what they're trying to be about. But they're not taking care of the people that are actually trying to make videos. You know? Especially me. They always give me a show, show comments. You complaining? No. Well, we're still learning the platform, so... I know. It was a little frustrating for us. Yeah, and everybody tells you hints. Like, they don't even explain to you. Like, somebody was talking about the vlog. We're not going to mention names. But they were like, go to the vlog! And I'm like, what is that? You know, they don't want to help explain things. You just got to learn step by step and it's screwed up. I guess that's life, right? Hospital bleach. Remember when the pandemic started? Yeah. And they were selling the hot the bleach that the hospitals use? I bought two of them. And I still got some left. Guys, I'm full. I finished it, right? That's finished almost. Yeah. This is for later. Like, I like to keep one egg roll for egg roll. Garlic roll for later. That's my little bit for later. Cause you know, like in the middle of the night, you wanna, you know, like you're, you're playing video games, you watch a whole bunch of uh, shows on YouTube, whatever, and you want a snack. Now that's a beautiful snack. No, this is what I call a beautiful intermission gamer snack. Oh yeah. I'm I'm not like my husband. I hit a roadblock with my stomach. Okay. And I still have a half a ceremony left. I'm, I'm, I'm happy. I got my sows, famous sows, chicken, parmesan platter. It's my favorite dinner ever. 
Yes, he finally got his chicken parmesan. Been, how long have you been crying about it? Two motherfucking long. Like two weeks. It was supposed to be our New Year's Day tradition to get um, chicken parmesan. But uh, the forces was against us. The first. But that's why we came up with the pizza challenge, remember? Yeah. We said, oh, we didn't do the Domino's challenge. Let's do it. And that's when we came up with it because Sal was so busy we couldn't get through. Watch this, watch this video be longer for a smack in my face, right? Because, you know, the beginning of the video was really the other video. <laughs> straight to the moon, I tell you. Straight to the moon. Go over 17 minutes again. Go over 17 minutes. I'll flip out. My first video was 17 minutes. And you cut me off. Everything's looking good at the greenhouse, guys. I fixed everything. I got a new floor down. I got a couple little bit more construction to do, but everything's coming along. That's not who sings that Making song. My tomatoes, my tomatoes are still growing. I learned, I learned how to pollinate my own, my own tomatoes. And stuff, it works, the things they tell me. Man, I'm so full. Oh, sleep. Uh, oh shit. Excuse me for burping. Um. Uh, no. 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 Hey, Mrs. DJ, <laughs> just put them song on. Pick one, pick one. Oh, 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 party over here. Party over there. You're so stupid, I love you. I feel like I'm on a roller coaster ride. Remix! <laughs> Is it the one? This is what I love about my husband. We have different tastes of music, so I have tons of music I listen to, and I break it into genres. The only difference between me and your music is your country, your musicals, and your heavy metal. And I listen to heavy metal. I don't mind the heavy metal. Country. <laughs> I like Christian music, so that, that's how far as country I go. Wanna do the dusty do? I don't know. Spin around and do the dusty do. No, I don't know. Um, I do have a lot of musical albums. Yeah. Like off Broadway shows. Oh, yeah. but I like I like musicals. Like you know, Grease, the first Grease. I like that one. If anybody, if anybody oh, knows, oh, freaking the the other one with the the songs we like. Which the one? Uh, uh, oh, uh, Greatest Show. The Greatest Show. Yeah, yeah. great movie. Uh, La Miserable. I never saw it in Broadway, but I saw, look, 18 minutes. I, I never saw it, sorry. I was just saying, my other video got cut off. Anyway, La, La, La Miserable. I never saw it on um, Broadway, but I saw it in the movies. And that was bad. That was cool. I gotta say, if you follow, if you, if you follow us on Spotify, you'll see on my playlist, I have uh, Chorus Line, Rent, I have every single musical you could think of that was in Broadway, off Broadway, on my playlist. She loved all that stuff. Yeah. You know, it reminds me of the kid when I was a kid. But um, also Broadway, like uh, off Broadway musicals, reminds me of like a good time with my mom when I was younger. Yeah. You know, I got to see her do a uh, chorus line and off Broadway production of it. Yeah, and me oh, too. So it's kind of cool. Yeah, me too. Uh, we got to see my mom get smacked with pizza in the face. Yep. That was, that was, a, that was one time when we were kids. <laughs> we 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 known each other. We're, we're friends from childhood. We're childhood friends. And um, we met each other in Florida about seven years ago. And for, let me just tell you real quick. About seven years ago, we we met each other and fell in love. We were supposed to we were supposed to get together in 2007. But a lot of stuff happened and it distracted us and then we found each other here. 
We're going to tell you a lot of stories and a lot of times we've got to take you a little bit. Hey, so like I'm screaming over so. it. So Danny and Jay, you know, we know we each other. When we were kids, before we dated, we were friends. And we were kids. We knew each other. And there was times, a lot of stories, like she's talking about Chorus Line. Um, my uncle used to be in production plays. So one time me and her met each other in the Chorus Line that she, her mother was in a production in Manhattan. And we got in trouble because when they were filming a scene where they had a, like a pizza box or whatever, my uncle was holding a pizza box and he was supposed to throw it in the garbage, but he looked up and when he looked up, he saw me and Dorothy in the in the, scaffold. the scaffold and it made him throw the spaghetti on everybody. So that's what she's talking about. And the crazy thing is like towards the end of that production, I didn't see, I didn't see him no more. So I asked his uncle, I was like, where's the kid you were with? Oh, he's grounded. I go, great. I'm stuck doing grunt work by myself. So when I saw the, the ending product of the movie and they showed the bloopers, the part that my husband my husband just mentioned is, you see his uncle look up because the camera on his shirt looked up. So he was embarrassed because he did the wrong thing and he blamed it on me. He's a little embarrassed because he, he, he looked up and threw the pizza box. But who she, who did he throw the pizza box at? My wife's mother. My mother, mind you. My mother is but dressed But we were kids at the time. Yeah. We wasn't dating. I thought she was a... I, I thought she was something else. Like, she had a short hair, and we were just kids hanging out in a building. Yeah. We I didn't mean, We didn't know we... We didn't know we, we were going to date in the future. But it's cool, because, like, the crazy thing about that whole scheme is my mother's standing behind the black curtain, trying not to be seen. And so all you see of my mother is her head up. Yeah, but my uncle, my uncle's a little embarrassed about this story. Like, he gets mad if he hears us talking about this story because he's embarrassed of that day. And we're not trying to embarrass nobody about nothing. We're just saying, you know, we and her knew each other when we were kids, and we experienced a lot. What happened in the past on my house? Yeah. And the greatest thing is, my favorite movie is Serendipity. So everything that happened in Serendipity happened with me and him. Yeah, literally, because with the same <laughs> uncle, I'm not going to mention, but one of my godfather, I love him. The same <laughs> uncle... Worked as a manager for seven deputies in New York on 62nd Street and, and um, I forgot what it is, that road. But he worked for seven deputies. So when we were kids in Manhattan, you know, she was young and I was young. My, my uncle used to let us go to the restaurant and eat for free and have the frozen hot chocolates. We had frozen hot chocolates, guys. Oh, my God. This is the famous frozen hot chocolates from seven deputies. Me and her had when we were kids. We used to run around with each other. We were in the same playground. Me and her from the same play playground. Yep. Long time ago. I'm sorry, baby. I took away your thing. Nah, it's just it's just crazy. Like as I as we're in a new year, and I'm about to be another year older. I saw the. I'm oh, sorry. Yeah. I was just thinking, you know, we're about to be another year older. Like my birthday's coming up. Then it's your birthday. And then the year is reset. So it's like a new year and it's like, wow, my perspective on my life and my husband has evolved. It's a large story. It's hard to get it all out. It's, it's very interesting. And the more me and her talk about it, it blows our mind because we've been in each other's lives since little kids. She was the first girl I took on a date. My first date I ever had, went on. I took her to Rockefeller Center and we skated on the ice. Yeah. The Rockefeller Center ice skating rink. I never, after that, I, every girl would get mad at me because I think, you know, all the girls would get mad because me and her were dating. And they were like, oh, take me to Rockefeller. I was like, no, I can't. And they were like, why? Oh, because you went with the other girl? I said, that's not your business. <laughs> you know? Yeah. All my life, my whole life, they were trying to get me to that ice skating ring. And I said, no. Because when I first dated my, my, my lovely here, she was a little younger than me. But she didn't, we, nobody was ex discussing age matter we, we wasn't kissing we were holding hands and holding you know like puppy love yeah we wasn't kissing making out or or anything like sexual it was like puppy love and she was a young girl and so we went ice skating in Rockefeller Center we uh walked around Central Park we found out why you shouldn't walk around Central Park at nighttime do you know why not to walk around Central Park at nighttime well <laughs> They told us not to do it, and of course, we're kids. We want to do everything they tell us not to do. So we go to Central Park evening time. We're sitting there. We let the we let the sun go down. You wouldn't believe 
What happened? Want me to tell them what happened? What? About five million rats came out of the park from every Ephesus and they were all over the park. In the middle of the night. That's what they say. Don't go at nighttime in Central Park because the rats are out. Right? Remember that? When we ran out of the park because all the rats was chasing us? Oh my That's god. That's a long time ago. Yo. Ever since then, I've been scared of little... Five, imagine you're in the middle of Central Park and it looked like five billion rats came out at once. Once the, once the sun goes down, all the rats come out. The, the, you know, the animals. Not the people, they're already gone. <laughs> I'm joking. Stupid. So you know, like, you, you, if you follow Dottie and Jay, we have a long story. We have so many things we have been to. Yeah. And we get lost. Every time we talk, like, look, we put a, we, we made a topic just now about music and musicals. And a story came out. <laughs> What blows my mind, though, uh, in 2007, I, I got struck in the head and got amnesia, and so she did, too. So for like two years, we forgot about each other, and then we met again, seven years straight, we've been together. Yo, my, our nephew looked like he wanted to punch the photographer in the face. I know, we talked about that already. Yeah, I'm sorry. I, I can't help but look at that picture again. Yeah, no, we're not doing nothing now, right? We're just sitting here. No, I'm sorry. It just popped up in... Uh... I am so full. I can't even finish my food. I wish I, had, I wish I could see my nephews, you know? But I can't see my nephews. So, that's why I don't care about kids. But I care about those kids. I take care of them. I, my, my family got put, torn apart in the last five years because... My brother's past, my past, her past, her sister's past, didn't like the fact that we were happy and loving our life. So they came down, tried to beat me up, I beat them up, and I, you know, we, we put harassment charges on them. They really tried to, they, they broke up me and my brother, my brother lives in North Carolina, I live here now, my mother's here, I haven't seen my nephews in seven years. So when she brings up her nephews, I liked it. It's my nephews too, but my, my family got torn up by bad people. And when I tried to tell my family that I was innocent and I was doing, you know, fighting for them, they didn't want to hear it. Now they're going to find out the truth. And now they're going to come back and say, I'm sorry, which I would forgive them. But at the same time, it's not right that I had to go through that. All because of a ex-girlfriend of mine wanted to get back with me. And my brother's wife wanted to be friends with her while I was with Dorothy, Dottie. It's a whole mess. Yeah. I don't know how to explain it. I never really explained, I never really was honest to anybody on, on YouTube or Twitter about my life. All the times that you saw me struck, like coming on with the Dottie and Jay show or all, all this, all this was created through chaos. For the fi five years of chaos. But you guys didn't see the chaos. Instead of sitting there and dwelling on what was going on, we said, we want to smile, and we want to laugh, and we want to have a good time. And that's why we fought, that's how we fought through it. YouTube, Twitter, all these platforms, me and Dottie went through so much crap in the last five years. It's finally over. You guys didn't see it. Maybe you see it through our attitude or whatever. But we never talked about it, because it was nobody's business. Still nobody's business. But it's, it's, it's real life. Everybody struggles. Everybody goes through stuff that nobody knows about. But we try to be inspirational in, in, in between our struggle. What? I got a little PTSD over it. I just let you know. I didn't know how to explain to the YouTubers how I have PTSD. But I'm, I've never been to the Army. I never, I'm not a Marine. I've never been to war. But I've been through war... Defending my house war, people trying to break in, trying to, you know, hurt my family, psychos, and I defended them off, and they hit me a couple times in the head, but from those stories, I developed a little PTSD, because you shit happened. So, but we'll come over here, we don't talk about our problems, we come here, we try to have a good time. 
to show you modern day life of two grown people, what they do with their hobbies and food, I guess. <laughs> Just two people struggling with life and making the best of everything and enjoying the little things. That's why we say that. Enjoy the little things. Because in, in the bigger things in the world was coming down on us and it was beating us down, we were enjoying the little things. We were still having a smile on our face. When they wanted us to, to cry and give up, we fought through the madness and kept the smile on our face. Because that's the only way we could have fought back, you know? When bad people come towards you and try to harass you and try to tear you down, best thing you can do is smile on their face. Because they have no business being there. Well, how do you feel what I said, Donnie? You're shocked that I said it? What's the matter? After dinner. Uh, uh, what? You were afraid to say it on the camera? Actually, no. It's. I have a little ADHD, so right now it's like I want to say it's like everything wants to come on at once. Just, I don't know how to protect it all at once. Well, we um, don't. Have, we don't have to talk about nothing. I'm just saying that they need to know who we are. They want to, they don't, you don't need to know who we are, but you want to know who we are. And we want to tell you, but not on, not in detail. Exactly. You know, you see the glimpses, everybody puts these challenges up and see these glimpses of everybody's beautiful life, but nobody ever puts up their struggles. You know? Because we want to keep the world positive, right? So, most of the time when you see Daddy and Jay having a great time, we're trying to, some of the times was we were trying to avoid the negative of life. And we felt if we can create a positive, maybe positive will keep going. And it did. It totally did. Right, guys? Yeah. Right, guys? From my life. Right, right? Mm -hmm. Right? Life. Let me, let me end this video uh -huh. with thank you, YouTube, for extending this video and letting me talk for 32 minutes. And the other video, you know, you kind of messed me up. But maybe I'll give you another chance. No? Yeah. Daddy and Jay just keeping it real. We had a wonderful dinner. I kind of finished it, see? It's kind of done. She finished her half a hub meal. Let's show you. Because we're about to shut it off. I didn't even get done. All right, guys. Daddy and Jay will keep it real with you and enjoying the little things. We love you guys. I hope you enjoyed this. Share, like, you know, do your thing, YouTube. Peace out.